Guys, Ted Walters here. Welcome to my teaching studio down at Truefit Golf Centre in Warrington. Today I want to talk a little bit about a real common issue I see in the downswing. Uh, a lot of you guys might think that the head is being lifted up, but really it's an early extension of the body, so let's take a look. Right, so the early extension, the dreaded feeling like your head is being lifted up as you're coming through the swing. So really, really common. Here it loads in here, oh, I've lifted my head up as I've sort of topped it. And what's happening is you can see there, if I go slow motion from here, we get in a position where as we're trying to bring the club down, we extend the body upwards. So there's no rotation, everything is moving up so the hips go underneath the torso, raise the level of everything and now all of a sudden the club is away from the ground. So it feels like you've lifted your head up because your hips have pushed under so the torso is lifted so your head has lifted up. But it's only lifted up because the angle of the body has changed from tilted forward to upright and it's that feeling and sensation which is what you transpired as lifting your head. So, a couple of keys where we can start to get the feeling that we maintain that posture going throughout. Okay, so first one, from the top of the back swing here, we've got to get the body to rotate more. So we need to get the feeling that this bit of the body, the hips, they're rotating around in the circle. They're almost turning a corner. So if I change my angle here, so we're in the top of the backswing position, we've got a, a tilt in the shoulders. So we've got a nice position at the top, shall we say. From here, what we don't want to do is swing in the arms and trying to hit it with this part of the body because that's where you're going to do that because you're not going to stick the club in the ground. So we need to get a feeling that the rotation starts here at the bottom. Let's feel it start with the knees. If we feel the knees start to rotate round the corner to the left towards the target, so you'll see as I go from here, if I start to rotate my knees, you see then how I almost push down into the ground and my hips want to start turning. If as my hips then start turning, I keep the left leg, I'll do it from this angle for you, so if I keep my lead leg, my left leg, which is the lead leg, if I keep the knee, that leg then moving away from the golf ball, away from where that golf ball is, moving back, the hip's going to come with me. So the sensation of starting with the knees and then keeping the lead leg, lead hip moving around the corner and away from the golf ball is going to help the rotational side of it. Then if we can feel the trail shoulder moves more downwards as that happens, remember as you early extend that trail shoulder will come through quite high and quite level. So if we can get the feeling that the trail shoulder comes down towards the ground, almost replaces where the lead shoulder was in the backswing, excessive feeling that I'm putting in here, but that kind of idea, that's gonna help you keep that forward posture, and that's gonna help you increase the possibility of getting the club to hit the ground in the right spot. Because the ground really is our friend. You know, when we're sort of early extending to try and avoid hitting the ground, because we're fed up of sticking the club in the back behind the ball, um, then that's where it becomes almost functional for the brain to say, right, I'm not gonna do that anymore. So we do this. But if we can get that feeling of more rotational lower body, keeping that rotation going as if you're turning the corner around the lead side, so for a right-handed golfer like myself, round to the left, the feeling of keeping that trail shoulder, for me the right shoulder moving down, will help me in my quest to try and get the club to find the ground in the right spot. So let's hit one with that feeling. So from the top, little rehearsal, so knees, keep them going round, keep the leg and the hip moving away from the golf ball, and let the trail shoulder come down and through as we turn through into the finish. Perfect. Guys, give it a go. I'm sure it's going to help you. 
Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Post your comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on if this is an issue that you think you might struggle with, um, if it's something that your playing partners tell you and you're lifting your head up or you think you're lifting your head up. Um, it's a real common feeling, as explained there um, in the main bulk of the video, because of what happens as the body lifts up. Post your comments. Love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you've given these drills a try or any other drills a try and if they've worked for you. Um, don't forget to click the thumb if you're liking the content just click that thumb so i know and youtube knows that you're enjoying what's going out there uh, don't forget to share and also subscribe if you don't already it's free just click on the little button there and subscribe click the bell icon and you get notifications as well of the new videos that come through uh, i'm gonna be looking at two to three per week moving forward for 2019 as well um, as always you catch me on social networks the links are also in the description of the video below and I look forward to seeing you guys again next time thanks for watching